busy writing. I didn't have time to organise anything. Didn't have time? We've been looking forward to this all week, haven't we, Jackie? We're stuck in this miserable place. Look, Tracy, we'll get some food and go to the park, yeah? A picnic in the park? Boring. Well, we'll go out to the countryside, then. Boring. My back garden? Boring. Tracy. Jackie, I'm dealing with this. Try and be nice, Tracy. Try and not be so useless, then! That's our day all sorted out, eh? That's not my fault if someone got out on the wrong side of the bed this morning. What are you doing? Marco's getting told off. Marco? I don't think so. He is. He says something really, really rude. The rudest thing ever. OK. Impress me. I'm listening. Bog off. How? Well, Marco, how was it? It was cool. Did she get really angry? She was jumping, man. Ow! Oh, honestly, guys, you've got no idea. I mean, if you want to be really rude, I mean, Tracy be agree. You've got to start off early, haven't you? Practice from the day you were born. Just like I did. <laughs> Coming back. Not sure she knows what's good for her. Picnic in the park. What sort of day out is that? Well, at least not a day in. Can't you call her or something? And do what? Say sorry. Apologise? No way, that'll be like a mitten was wrong. You go and get some snacks from the kitchen. We can have loads of fun. Trust me. <laughs> Snakes and ladders. Drafts. <laughs> a packet of cards. Not I know! What, Hayley? What? We can turn up to lunch five minutes late. Or we can not tidy our rooms when we are asked to. Look, you lot, if you want any respect to the dumping ground, you're going to have to do a lot better than that. How about cheese sauce and wellies, or collapsing chairs, or ketchup bombs, or putting butter on milk bottles? Not to mention running around the garden and the head care workers' knickers. <laughs> oh, and I nearly forgot. Eating a worm. Got the idea? Hi, Dolly. Mmm, <coughs> yummy cheese sauce. It's not for eating. What? Butter? Check. Milk bottles? Check. Come on, guys, tell me what's going on. We're the Beacon Club, Jackie. Watch out, dumping ground. We all respect, man. Yeah! Oh! Dolly, there you are. Don't forget, we've got a very important meeting today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go into them. Search me. Oh, you better see this, Tracy. They've set up a beaker club. They've done what? A beaker club. A club for kids who want to be just like me. I mean, when you think about it, who wouldn't want to be like Trace Beaker? Many members of the Michael Grice Club, do you? And um, how long's the waiting list for the Long and Bouncer Appreciation Society? Uh, well, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like there's going to be some fun around here after all. Long as the Beaker Club. Oh, 
Oh, come on! Oh. <laughs> Careful, Shelly. Careful, Duke. Gently does it, Walter boy. Who did this? That wasn't me. We've been sabotaged, bro. Oh, that stupid beaker club. What is going on around here today? One pair of ruined shoes. I want to know who did this. Right. When you've been here as long as I have, Shelley, you get to know a certain someone's handiwork. I've seen these pranks before. Lead the way, Duke. Beak her fingerprints. I'd recognise them any day. Did you really think I wouldn't know a Tracy Beaker stunt when I saw one? What are you talking about, Duke? Jackie and I have just been sitting here minding our own business. Come on, Tracy, we're not stupid. Look, the whole point of putting a scam is getting respect, isn't it? So if Tracy did it, she'd end up and take the credit, don't you think? Nice try, but I'm clean. Beaker fingerprints, Sherlock Holmes. What's next, Dolly? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. We've been looking forward to this all week, Elaine. How's Dolly? I'm <laughs> very excited. There are people coming! Quick! Hurry, Dolly, hurry! Fall off! I'm nearly finished. One, two, three. Oh, what now? Dolly, is that you? I am so uh, sorry. Big, You're right. Hi, dolls. Hi, Dolly. How's the big club going? They were supposed to be my foster family. It was going really well. Then I had to drop a Tracy Beaker bomb on them, didn't I? <laughs> Classic. I just wanted to be like you, Tracy Beaker. Now I'm really like you, aren't I? No one's gonna want anything to do with me ever! Uh, Tracy, are you all right? Dolly, come down here immediately. I can make my world. Tracy, um, just calling to see whether you come up with any ideas for going out today. Any good ideas. So, um, let me know. And, and I don't mind coming round to keep you company. OK, bye. Right. I think we ought to have a little chat about this, don't you, Dolly? She wouldn't snitch on us, would she? Yeah, but shouldn't we go and own up? Say it was us as well. Dunno. What would Tracy Beaker do? She'd get busy with the next Beaker scam. Yeah! So what's it gonna be? Knickers? Worm? Deal. Beaker, Beaker Club, 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 Beaker, Beaker Club. Beaker, Beaker Club. <laughs> Beaker, Beaker Club, Beaker, Beaker Club, 
Beacon, Beacon, Beacon Club, Beacon Club, Beacon, Beacon, Beacon Club, Beacon Club. I'm really sorry. Well, sometimes sorry isn't good enough. Thing is, Dolly, we don't understand. We really thought you liked us. I do like you. Then why did you do this to us? I didn't know it was you. Even if it was someone else, it's not very nice, is it? So I guess you won't be fostering me then. Hey, come here! Get those knickers off your head! Hayley, come here! Oh, oh, I don't want to chase you up! Come here! Get those knickers off your head! My knickers! Hayley! Oh, has anyone seen Marco? No, no, Marco, oh, come no. in! Oh, I'm gonna Marco. do it! I'm gonna do it! Marco! No! Hey, no! Oh. Spit it out, Marco, come on, mate. Spit it out, man. Come on, Kelly, you me, give me that underwear back right now! I'm stay with I you, Marco. I am deadly Marco. serious, Marco. give them come back! Kelly, come here! Kelly! Spit it out! Spit it out! Come on, mate. Come on, dude. You've got to do something. Come on, Marco. Speak to me, man. Hey? What did you think you were doing going through my personal belongings? I don't want to be in the Beaker Club anymore. Me neither. The what? The Beaker Club. Well, there had to be an explanation, didn't there? Marco, Dolly, Haley. Anyone can see they're the sweetest kids in the whole world. But today they decided to be like me. Tracy Beaker. Well, they might swallow a worm or chuck a ketchup bomb, but deep down they're nothing like me. Well, they're nice, aren't they? Not like Trace Beaker. There's only one of her. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. The red light, say to the green light. <laughs> Don't look, I'm changing. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly. I'm so glad it worked out well. So am I. I'm gonna miss you. Me too. Hi, Tracy. Come! Got your message. I know the Beaker Club didn't work out like we thought it would. Yeah, you could say that, Dolly. But you really are my hero, Tracy Beaker. Great, but keep the noise down because I've got a lot of work to do. My foster dad says all work and no play makes a dull person really dull. I mean, a normal person, you know. <laughs> Come on, Louise. Sounds like I going over the TV again, Duke. Shall I can sort it out? I'm not leaving this cake. Five more minutes and it will be cooked to perfect. Another masterpiece, eh, Duke? I reckon it's deaf too. Yeah, busted! What's happened? Oh, I don't believe this. What's going on? We're missing busted. That's what's going on. Oh, what a pity. Ah, Tracy! What? No! Ruined! Oh, come yeah? On. Louise is a good thing! No, she's you should support! It's okay, everybody. It's a power cut. The whole street's out. It's just typical of a stump. Jackie! What? It's for Marco. 
as soon as he's told me why he's wearing the shower curtain... It's my invisibility cloak. Of course. How silly of me. When's the light going to come back on? I don't know. Are you scared? No, of course not. I love the dark. I can't play the computer. <gasps> what about Busted? Oh, sorry, there's nothing we can do but wait. This is going to be so boring. It doesn't have to be. My foster dad said we can have fun without telling your computer games. Yeah, just like he used to in the good old days. 600 years ago. He's right. And I've got just the thing. Snip! Oh. Go Shirley! Go Shirley! I don't want to play this anymore. Yeah, I'm bored. Me too. Me three. I'll go and see if there's any news. Right. What's next? Charades. Boring. Gee, can't we have something to eat like a picnic in the dark? Yeah. OK. Good idea. So, who's got any ghost stories? Yeah. Let's scare the pants off each other. My foster dad says, psychologically, scary stories aren't good for a child's development. <laughs> Louise, enough about your foster dad. Yeah, you've gone, we haven't. No need to rub it in. I wasn't. I was just saying. Yeah, well, just don't. I think Louise's dad is right. Telling scary stories is a really bad idea. <laughs> don't be such a wimp, Jackie. She's scared. I'm not. Chicky, chicky. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> It was a dark and stormy night, and a little boy called Marco was lost in the woods, all alone in peach black. He didn't know that a werewolf was watching him in the shadows, and poor little Marco was never seen again. I didn't like that story. See? Told you it wasn't a good idea. You're frightening Marco. I'm not frightened. Werewolves are pants. I like stories about vampires sucking out your blood. <laughs> so she scared everyone by walking around the town with no head, no arms, and no legs! No legs? How did she walk? <sighs> You're just not getting the point, Marco. OK. My turn. The cellar was dark and cold. A rat scurried across the creaking floorboard. The little girl shivered with fear as she heard a drip, drip, drip. Was it blood? Or just a leaking pipe? But then suddenly there was a tap, tap, tap again. It was coming from behind her. She sensed she wasn't alone. She gasped as a cold, bony hand reached out and grabbed her! <gasps> Jackie! Who screamed? She shouldn't have grabbed my arm like that. Tracy Baker's been telling scary stories. Time for a different game, I think. And something to eat. No! Disgusting. Oh. Peanut butter and tuna. It's very dark in that kitchen. I'll count to a hundred, then ready or not, I'm coming. Okay? One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants. 42 elephants, 43 elephants, 44 elephants, 45 elephants, 46 elephants, 47 elephants, 48 elephants, 49 elephants. Ow, oh, get out! I can't find a place to hide. Then let me give you some friendly advice. Keep looking! Shelley will never find us here. Louise? Louise, where are you?
having the fright of my life. It's not funny, Tracy. You really are scared of the dark, aren't you? I'm not scared of anything. Just leave me alone. Fine. If that's what you want, stay alone you want. Wait! Don't go. I mean, I wouldn't mind if you wanted to stay. OK, it's true. I am scared of the dark, especially since I came here. It wasn't so bad when I lived with Grandpa. He would always read me these amazing stories until I fell asleep. There, I admitted it. Go on and tell Michael and Justine and everyone else. I don't care. I'm not going to tell anyone. You're not? Especially not Justine Littlewood. She'd never shut up about it. Thanks. Darkness has a lot of potential, you know. Potential for what? Mucking about, stuff like that. Hmm. There's a few things we'll be needing from the attic. The attic? But it's, it's really dark up there. Food, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Where'd you get that lot? Shh. I'm psychic. Tracy, I'm gonna go a man. But you can't. It's too spooky. It's okay. I wanna do this. Prove something to myself. Anyway, I can run really fast. Nothing's gonna catch me. Good luck. Thanks. You don't know what to get, don't you? Seriously creepy up there. What's that? A headless skeleton. A blood sucking vampire. peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> it's very quiet. Wonderful, isn't it? I suppose we could just go and sit down and wait till they get bored. We could. Well, they are enjoying themselves, aren't they? Shelley, you never know what's lurking in the dark, ready to get you.
Sorry, I forgot to turn them off. I've been up ages. If you ask me, it's a waste of a Saturday. We could be doing stuff now. I'm like paying you peanuts. I like peanuts. See ya. Oh. You guys are up early. From Barris's point of view, it would have been a disaster if he was late. Would have been an even bigger disaster if I got hold of him. You can't blame him for being excited, Tracy. It's only a crummy Saturday job, and the money's pants. They pay him pants? Cool. Money's not everything, lol, and perhaps encouragement would have been better than whinging. I don't whinge. How do you accuse me of whinging? I won't even know how to whinge. At least he's got a chance to get out of this dump. I know you love us really, Jackie. Can I have that last sausage, please, Duke? It's not for me. It's for my friend, Elvis the alien. He's invisible. All right, Marco, just this once. Oh, hey! He's eating it! I'm not eating it. I'm just putting it in a safe place for Elvis. Yuck. Hey, can I be ten friend of an extra egg? Jackie, ten friends are serious business. You don't want to mess with that stuff. That's right, you know. Anyway, best be off. Some of us have got real friends. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Dave. Welcome aboard. Dave will get you started. Bradley. Actually, my friends call me Bouncer. All oh, right. Well, why didn't I call you Orphanage, boy? And oh, we'll see where it goes from there. Hi, Karen. Thought you might need some help on your shopping trip for your new outfit for the publisher this afternoon. Uh, too late. But... Oh, this is, um, Zara. She's my agent. But you look like a newsreader. <clears throat> exactly. It's perfect. And this must be the little girl you've been telling me about. How delightful. Delightful. <laughs> Do you know what happened to the last person who did that? Marco, isn't it your turn to help us clean the cutlery? But, Duke, I've got to help Elvis get back to his home planet. You let him get away with it? Just like that? What if I told you that my... imaginary friend didn't believe in the polishing? Jackie, aren't you a little too mature and sensible for that sort of thing? No, I'm not. I mean, yeah, of course I am. OK, um, yes, um, it, yeah, it is a children's book, um, but uh, I, I would also like it to be read by people as well. Um, people who like uh, stories and, um, you know, stuff. Cam, that was spectacularly awful. Far too much umming and ahhing. Uh, um... She can't help it if she's not very good with words. You can't expect a publisher to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. All right. I am Camilla Lawson. And I have written the best book in the world. I am Camilla Lawson. And I have written the best book in the world. Hey, that felt good. But she sounded all wrong. She sounded confident and professional. Exactly, and that's not calm at all. Tracy, you're not exactly helping. Look, perhaps it might be better if you, um... What's the matter? Do you need Zara to tell you what to say? Look, it's just we haven't got very long before the meeting. Very well. I'll get my people to call your people. Tracy. 
You're bigger. You're back early. No, I'm not. I'm back at exactly the time I want to be back. Mm, whatever. Well, do you want to come with me to see how Bounce is getting on? I thought you didn't care about his stupid Saturday job. Tracy, one has to support one's friends and family as they stride forward to a brave new world. And he works in the cake shop. He's gonna get into so much trouble. He's in the middle of Duke's courgettes now. He'll go mad. No, he'll be more worried about the potatoes. Marco, what are you doing? He's looking for a dilithium. Or... What? To fire away with his spake it. Well, why didn't you stop him? It's got nothing to do with us. Mm. You told us it was serious business. <laughs> I want to do for something like that. Marco, you and Albus had better come in and have a wash. He was blaming us. And he's supposed to be a professional. And the pound coins go in here. But wouldn't it be more helpful making pastry? I'm good at pastry. And the £20 notes go under there and not in your pocket, orphanage boy. What are you suggesting? Either letting the zoo animals run free or some of your mates have arrived. Oh, no, I'll sort it. Hiya. Hi, Bouncer. Any free cakes going? Don't be soft. What are you two doing here? Just seeing if you're all right, bro. Yeah, I'm fine. Now just go. Yeah, you're scaring away our customers. What do you say? Lol, don't. I'll have you know, my good man, that I'm a customer. And if you'd be kind enough to show me a selection of your finest confectionery. Got any money? Why, did you ask all your customers that question? Well, if they look like troublemakers, yeah. Dave, don't. Two of your fattest, jammiest, creamiest donuts, if you please, my fine fellow. You can keep the change. Perhaps put it towards lessons and good manners. Hmm. Interesting bouquet. All right, you've had your fun. Now get out, the pair of you. Yeah, come on, Lalt. Time to... <coughs> Oi, any of these going spare? Troublemaker, am I? Help him tidy it up, will you? What? Why should we? We didn't make the mess. Look, this Elvis business is very sensitive. Mm. He's got a point. You can cause mental trouble from messing with someone's imaginary friend. I knew you'd understand. Thanks. Honestly, Marco, this Elvis is a menace. What's so funny? There is no Elvis. I made him up. You what? You mean your imaginary friend is imaginary? And thanks to Elvis, I've had the best day ever. I only wanted to give him some moral support. It's not my fault things got weird. You sure you don't want to pipe? No, thanks. It smells funny. Still, it must be sad, you know, when people think they don't need you anymore. Yeah, it must be. a boring meeting. Oh, not so boring, actually, as it turns out. I thought you should be the first to know. You're going to publish my book! Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Well, you do realise how ridiculous you look. Oh, come on, Tracy. I thought you'd be excited. About the book you haven't let me read yet. And besides, wasn't your friend Zara the first to know? She's not my friend, Tracy. Actually, she's rather annoying. 
But without her, I never would have got it published. And without another really annoying person, I never would have written it. Well, of course, I shall be expecting my usual fee. <laughs> Oh, it's been ages since these have had a good degrease in. It'll give us something to remember you by when you're gone. Oh, and then if you could just um, do all these. Bradley, could you do one last thing for me? Pop to the supermarket and get some mayonnaise, will you? And try not to bring back another gang of hoodlums. You... You buy uh, mayonnaise from the supermarket? Oh, have you got a problem with that? No. Well, it's just... <laughs> I could knock some up for you in no time. Get your room. Bad for enough. For a beginner. Oh, there you are. Come on, come take this all out to dinner to celebrate getting a book published. Excellent. Oh, no, you, you, you look a bit... Hiya, guys. Guess what? I got a permanent Saturday job. They like me, they really like me. Uh, you two, they didn't like so much. Oh, well. Whoa. Other cake shops are available. Hey. Listen, I'm sorry about, you know, earlier. That's OK, Lou. I shouldn't have pushed you around. I was stressed. Oh, no worries, bro. <laughs> Listen, Lou, I hope you didn't eat any of those pies. Days old, they are. Uh, oh. Lou? Oh, well. One less for dinner. Extra portions for the beaker. No flipping. There's plenty more action coming. Now! Why don't we skip the chit chat and go straight to insulting each other? Uh, who wants breakfast? Where's Duke? He's got flu. Uh, Nathan's on the late shift and Shelley's got the day off. Her sister went into labour this morning. This timing couldn't be worse. We've got a new kid arriving later, Wilson. His mum's in hospital. He's going to be staying here for a bit. And I care because... Wilson is going to be sharing with you. <laughs> <laughs> or with Michael. Oh, I, can't I, can't I, I, I don't care who and I don't care how. When Wilson arrives, one of you is going to be his roommate. I'm not sharing with him. Chances are he's a nutcase. Word he'll outshine you with a nutcase of the year awards. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, I've got an idea. We can have a contest. The winner gets to stay in his room, the loser has to share with Wilson. Oh, yeah? What do you have in mind? <laughs> Huddle, my friends. I'm so glad you're finally going to meet Adam. He's got the cutest haircut, beautiful eyes, and he wears a baseball cap everywhere. Um, Louise, have you looked in the mirror this morning? Let me guess. Adam played another practical joke on me, right? Oh. Don't worry, it will come off. So, what pranks are you playing on him? None. So, you're telling me he's done all this to you and you haven't retaliated? It's lucky I found out about this. Finished starting your room yet? Haven't started. But your grandpa's visiting later. Don't you want the place to look nice for his first visit? Turns out he can't come. Oh, he's not sick, is he? No. Then what is it? Jackie, you can tell me. Look, the truth is, I cancelled his visit. What? But. You're really looking forward to seeing him. So what's going on? Just drop it. He's getting away with it. Don't you want payback? Sorry. See, Tracy? This is what you call a kind and tolerant person. <laughs> Louise! Your foster dad called. He's locked out and he needs your house, please. You better get home. Sorry. If Adam shows up, tell him to meet in my place. What? I'm warning you, Tracy Beaker. It's hard enough for me being on my own today, and if I catch anyone doing anything wrong, I am holding you responsible! Talk about 
are highly strong. You've got that look in your eye, what are you thinking? Well, it's just that Adam's on his way over. Feels like the perfect opportunity to teach him a lesson. Thanks. Oh, hi. You must be the new guy, Wilson. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bouncer. So the story's true. Do I have to pass an initiation test where I get locked in the cellar with the rats, right? Oh, and don't forget the evil roommate. Only joking. I'm really looking forward to it. I've never shared a room before. I gotta run. I'm organizing a contest. Need any help? What kind of contest? Uh, a contest has absolutely nothing to do with a roommate, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think water bombs and eggs are a tad childish? About as childish as drawing moustaches on innocent people's faces. Remind me never to introduce you to any of my boyfriends. Don't worry, you'll never have any. Hi, nice to meet you. So, you think practical jokes are funny, do you? Um, well, sometimes. You think it's funny to laugh at other people's expense? If people can't take a joke, then that's sad, I guess. Just because you're cute doesn't mean you can just walk all over Louise. Why are you smiling? It's just, no one's ever called me cute before. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> this must be my initiation test. It's exactly how I pictured it. No, this is payback! Payback for what? Jackie, so we can surprise her. Gosh, thank goodness. I need a hand. Sorry, gotta run. Oh, waitress, could I have a chocolate milkshake with some extra ice cream, please? I'm not a waitress. I'm a social worker. Well, then why did you offer me a milkshake? Surprise! Grandpa, I thought you... Crash called and told me the visit was back on. You can thank <laughs> me later. So, this is the famous dumping ground, eh? When's the grand tour start? Right away. <laughs> Why'd you have to stick your nose in? But, big mouth. A bedroom than you had at home. I haven't noticed. You've made it very cosy. No, I haven't. Is this new? That's just a stupid poster I went in the car again with Lauren Bouncer. Hmm. Uh. That's just something I'm making for Layla. I might not even bother with it. Uh. That's not mine. Well, of course it is. Look, there's you there, smiling. And that boy, um, smash, pulling faces. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is mine. But I'm not attached to it. To be honest, I'm not attached to any of this stuff. Don't be silly. You've worked so hard to make this place nice. Why do I get the feeling you want something? You've got to help cheat. And what makes you think I'll do that? Oh, wow! Yeah! Imagine all the things I can do with that. I'll make sure I don't spend it all at once. OK, two pounds. Five. So what do I have to do? Home stopper. Ever play so do we let? Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> Bar of chocolate on Crash to win. You're on. So not talking to me, Jackie. That's right. Technically, you just did. I won't make the same mistake. There you go again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sew the Roulette. Blindfolds, please.
Remove blindfolds. Heads or tails, Crash? Heads. Oh, Crash is first. <laughs> Michael? You want to know something? I've been dreading this visit. I was dreading it too. I hate it here. I wish you'd never seen me here. I am not a fool, Jackie. I can see you're okay here. No, you're right. It's just, I was worried you seeing me sit all might upset you. Yeah. I was worried this place would be horrible. <laughs> Didn't want to find you unhappy. Well, I can stop worrying. Ah, bye, my love. Miss you. Yeah, I really miss you too. Well, time to go. Mr. Hopper, wait. You won the bet, remember? What bet? Adam. Adam? Hi. I called and asked him to meet in my place. Tracy, you okay? <coughs> Aren't you gonna thank me? For what? Do you realise how long you left me down there without food or water? I could have died. Yeah, but you didn't though, did you? It's not the point. Uh, you must be Wilson. Yeah. Uh, when, when did you arrive? A while ago. And, and why are you covered in... What is this? Mainly flour and rotten egg. See, Tracy, I thought we had an understanding. Why is it always your fault? I, um... Actually, I did this to myself. See, I love pouring flour over me, and I love the smell of rotten egg. Mmm, <laughs> someone should make a perfume out of this. In future, Wilson, this isn't acceptable behaviour. I know what you're up to. You do? You've got revenge planned for me. Now, why would I want to do something so immature as that? I can see what you're doing. You want me to spend my whole life paranoid. Scared to use my own toothpaste. Worried about going to sleep. Constantly looking over my shoulder. But it won't work. I haven't got a scheme planned. You better put me out of my misery. I'm warning you. If you don't put a prank in the next 24 hours, you'll be sorry. Look on the bright side. If your roommate's a complete weirdo, you're getting well together. Hi, I'm Wilson. Crash. I've never shared a room before, so tell me if I know you. Whoa, check out the gear. If you want to use my stuff, Crash, go ahead. What's mine is yours. Isn't that the roommate code? You owe me five pounds. 